My dad's a mechanical engineer, but you know, you always have these sort of stereotypes and these visions of, of what an engineer is and is not, um, particularly uh, then when you're growing up and, and particularly as a, as a woman or as a girl then. And so I was like, I'm never going to go into engineering. That's, 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 that's not very interesting. I don't want to wear a hard hat all my life. But then when it actually came time to figure out what I did want to do, I was like, okay, how can I combine my two passions, right? Which is, I really like math, I really like physics, and I really like art. And so I kind of said, okay, fine, I'll look into civil or structural engineering, which is, is a subset uh, in, the, in the academic world, and I'll go into that. Rather than thinking about sustainability as this high level intangible ultimate goal over here if you can sort of say look if we can salvage what we can here it may involve a little bit more engineering but it could avoid a little bit of construction so how can you minimize the amount of cement since cement is one of the main two emitters in the construction industry right now right cement production makes up 10 percent of the embodied carbon globally at this point in time and it's only 10 percent of the mass of your concrete, which is quite crazy. So what can we do instead of that? And that's become something that, that I've really been having to focus on. Professional bodies like OSPI are really, really great for collaborating and developing universal ideas or consensus on challenges. And it's really reassuring to know that you're oftentimes not the only person struggling with something and to know that you're sort of not alone, both internal to the company and external to the company. And OSPI is great for that.